Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my show, Crypto Express. In today's video, we're going to learn all about bridging. Which, what, what is bridging? What are the top bridges, most recommended top bridges in crypto? And basically, this means how to move your crypto assets, your tokens, from one network to the other or from within um, the EVM compatible tokens, which basically just means Ethereum virtual machine compatible. So they're all Ethereum compatible tokens within uh, compatible networks that operate with Ethereum. Um, and or also bridges that help you move your tokens from the EVM ecosystem to the non-EVM, non-Ethereum compatible networks like Solana, like Sui. This is so important going into, especially going into this bull run, because you're going to be buying Sui, buying Aptos, you know. Now. But okay, without further ado, let's get started. All right, so we are going to start with Synapse. Synapse, there's so much information on Synapse, but it's one of the most popular and widely used uh, bridges. Um, it's actually, it sounds like in reading it all about it, it sounds like a bit of a competitor to Chainlink because you can not only use its protocol that it's built on to send assets, you know, from one blockchain to, to another, but it also allows you to send data which is very, very interesting in what Chainlink does. Um, that said, it also allows for you to send NFTs. Very, very, very interesting. There's an article I'm going to link below. Let's take a quick look, but I won't get into it in full detail in this video, um, unless you want me to read through it. But um, I did a lot of digging and a lot of research for this video because I didn't want to just show you how to use one or what they are, but also explain a little bit more about how they work. Um, but anyway, I found this article very, very insightful. So this is what I'm going off of, but I'm not talking about all eight of the bridges presented in this article because after doing more research, I found they don't really hit the right tune or, or tone, right? Because for myself anyway, and I don't know if you agree, let me know in the comment section, but you know, you can use, there's, um, let me just show you really fast. So you can use like DeFi spot, you know, it's an Ethereum compatible, it's decentralized. And you can also use Stargate, which is super user friendly. It's one of the main features of this bridge, Stargate. But what Stargate does not facilitate for is uh, transfers and swaps um, across different types of networks like once again as I just said from within the ethereum ecosystem like avalanche like polygon um, over to Solana and I feel like since Solana is such a big mover in the crypto world crypto sphere and its ecosystem is doing so well and its tokens are doing so well and its meme coins and it's going to be a huge player this bull run and it already is um i find that stargate is useful it, you know didn't doesn't hit it, it you know it doesn't facilitate for uh bridging between solana solana's ecosystem and um ethereum's so but it's super super user friendly and there's a whole um explanation i'll give you in a minute but back to Synapse, what we're looking at here. So awesome. It's decentralized, um, as I was saying. And you can bridge, you can swap. There are pools, which basically mean you would go, you would go share, right? Or like post, you know, like lend your different crypto assets to Synapse, Synapse's protocol. And you would earn APY, as you can see here right like on blast you can earn optimism it and it it's great for the bridge for the protocol because in order to help facilitate moving your assets 
from one network to the other, they're written on completely different code bases, right? Like Ethereum uses a program language called Solidity, and then Solana uses like something I don't I, I don't know what it's called, um, but they're different, right? And so they basically have to wrap. They have to wrap your token in order to be able to port it over, or sometimes they lock it. Um, I didn't go into that detail of depth, although I did do some some digging and some reading. And so what I understand so far is that every bridge works differently. Sometimes they wrap your token in order um, to like port it over. Sometimes they will lock it um, and mint or make the equivalent token on the other side. Sometimes it's just literally by case by case scenario, every bridge is different. Um, but the most important thing to go off of is always like, which are the most popular, which in itself is not a complete guide because sometimes, um, you know, like it's just not like it's, it's not the biggest indicator. So you do want to do your own research. Um, but for the most part, um, if it's built on good technology, which we know that Synapse is, um, and it has a large user base and, and large and a large liquidity pool and it's decentralized, then basically what that means is, you know, decentralized is the opposite of centralized. And if the bridge is centralized, like Coinbase, for instance, then that means there's one entity, there's one deciding leadership body uh, team that is in control right and they have their teams that manage transactions like any company so this would mean that um, there's people in charge and people are failable like we can mess up like people have a bad day they get sick they get lazy whatever it may be and they can mess up and people can also steal right so there's been cases of and this happens even in traditional finance so it's not just crypto but um, that is one of the pitfalls or downfalls of centralized companies and what would be risky about using a centralized bridge. That said, they're also highly regulated, oftentimes like Coinbase, because it's based in the U.S. Um, so that's an option. But that said, Coinbase is an exchange. Um, and... That's what we're trying to get away from with a bridge, right? With a bridge, we don't want to go to an exchange. We don't want to have to go sell one asset, sell, you know, whatever token it is we're trying to move, um, you know, and then move it, you know, to a different chain. Like there's so many steps involved. I've done this a lot, <laughs> which is why I started looking into bridges. Um, so that's what's unique about a bridge, right? Bridges allow for crypto transfers. They allow for, um, you know, crypto liquidity. So you can go and like share your crypto through a bridge so that I can be um, used by other people to help them bridge their assets, convert their assets. And you earn by sharing your liquidity, your token, right? It's very, very interesting. But anyway, so this is Synapse. If you wanted to use it to swap your Solana, you would click on Solana at the right at the top. Did you see that? You'd click right here. It would bring you to this page and then you would connect. So the top, you'd have to connect both wallets, right? Because MetaMask, which is the most widely used um, uh, wallet, is uh it's evm compatible so ethereum based so you click on it and these are your options um by the way i'm going to be doing a video for you guys on rapi wallet next because it's like a wallet aggregator or it combines all your wallets and it allows you to see it all in one user interface which is so like awesome because currently the way it works in metamask you would know is to click on each wallet and look at all your tokens one by one. And that can be a little annoying and frustrating if you have multiple wallets. 
Um, so Rabi aggregates them. So that's an option here. That's the next video. Um, but we'll click MetaMask, right? I have my dummy MetaMask set up on this account for you. So I'm going to say yes. But actually, I'm not only because I don't have my, I don't have a phantom wallet set up on this account. So this is just an example for you, right? Because Solana has one wallet type or types, most popular is phantom. And then you have your Ethereum based wallets. So when using Synapse, you would connect at the top here under connect EVM, you would connect your Ethereum based wallet to it. And then you would have to come here to the bottom and connect to your um, Phantom or Soulfare wallet. So that's how you would do it. And if you wanted to use, just use Synapse for your Ethereum based wallets, you click EVM bridge and same procedure. Well, slightly different because you won't be connecting to your Solana wallet. So that's Synapse. My internet is a little slow, so we'll keep moving forward. All right, the next one I wanna share with you is called Portal Bridge. Portal Bridge, like Synapse, allows you to move your crypto assets between an Ethereum network compatible friendly wallet um, network over to Solana and like Aptos and Sui. So all of like pretty much all of the other uh, networks as well, which is pretty awesome. See the top here, you can see it says native, can you see my screen? Native um, ETH transfers now live across Ethereum, Arbitrum, Base, Optimism, Polygon, BNB, AVAX. You can read more here to find out what other uh, chains are compatible. So it's built on wormhole, as you can see here on, with my mouse, where I'm hovering over. I don't know that much about wormhole, but I've heard it a lot. And I know that um, it's pretty awesome, but uh, I, don't, I don't know enough to share in detail right now with you, but I do know that this is a good sign. And it'll tell you all about it and uh, I thought it was supposed to tell you which other chains it is compatible with, but here you got it. You know, so it's Arbitrum Base, Optimism, Polygon, BNB, and Avalanche, and Solana. I know it's compatible with Solana as well. So same procedure, you would connect your wallet So it says Solana is currently experiencing congestion. We know this has already been going on since last week, but I'm sure they're working on it or who knows actually, but I imagine they're working on it because they're a pretty big team and have a really great reputation. So, but all right. So I don't know why it's not letting me connect my wallet right now for you at the moment. Oh, I think it's cause let's cancel this. All right. Oh, it wants me to connect. <laughs> We're doing this live, guys. Okay. It wants me to select the network I want to port over from, move over from. But once and for all, we can see which networks it supports. So there's Ethereum, Binance, Polygon, Avalanche, Avalanche, um, Phantom, Hello, Moonbeam, Solana, Sui, Aptos, Base. There you go. Osmosis, Arbitrum, Optimism, um, Clayton, some really niche uh, networks as well. And there's even more, you can click on it. But we can see it supports Algorand, which is pretty cool, Injective, Awesome, and Say. So you would select your network and then to which network you want to port over to. And there's even more you can search for, as you can see at the top here, right? Okay, so that's number two, portal. Okay, so let's just do an example for you. So say I wanna move from Ethereum. Great, connect wallet. 
it will bring me here. I will pick my wallet MetaMask. My MetaMask will open up. I will say next. And it says, you know, it'll be able to see my address, account balance, all these things. It's very normal. You keep moving, boom, connect. All right, so now I'm connected. So it's number two, guys. Um, this is on the news. All right, number three is Stargate. As I was mentioning at the beginning of this video, Stargate is very interesting because of its user interface. It's very friendly and it has a pretty cool model, um, you know, where you can also, same thing, who um, I believe the fees on Stargate are converted into its token, which is STG, I believe. And that's how they earn. Um, they also have a pool. You can like lend your tokens to and earn APY. There's farming. Farming basically means you have to go do a, a few different like tasks um, and you'll earn their token pool. You can stake, it's pretty cool. You can stake your STG. And this gives you voting power within its community. So you can help, you know, guide its governance model. It's pretty awesome. But remember that Stargate would only be for your EVM compatible tokens. So for everything that's pretty much within your MetaMask, you can use Stargate for. It. So these are the main ones. Um, this is an article on them I was reading about just to validate it a little bit more. So Stargate, um, yeah. And then just quickly, there's also DeFi Spot. Uh, you know, when I went to go read about DeFi Spot, it says it's supposed to have a mobile version, but I didn't find a mobile version. So let me know if you are aware of a mobile version for DeFi Spot. That would be pretty awesome because we all live on our phones and I haven't seen that um, I haven't seen that Synapse or Portal Bridge have a mobile friendly version, which kind of sucks, to be honest. Um, I would hope they build one, not to sound negative. I don't mean like to say it sucks like that, but um, it'd be really cool if Synapse or Portal Bridge could build a mobile version because we live on our phones. Like, <laughs> things need to be more mobile friendly so we can all join, you know. But okay, and then just lastly, I'm going to show you one more uh, very cool wallet that allows you to natively, right, or naturally, um, swap your assets from within the wallet from network to network and it's really cool uh, I'm going to be applying for it I haven't um, is because it's like a card you would get a physical tangible card like a credit card and you can store all your crypto on it because as of now I don't have it to show you but you would have to get like a ledger I imagine most of you know, but you would get like a ledger. Let me know if you don't know what I'm talking about. Um, I'm happy to make a video on it for you if you'd like, but you have to store your crypto, you know, on cold, on a cold storage wallet that lives with you. It's not hot, right? Like a hot wallet would be one that's connected to an exchange and that puts you at risk. That's why it's hot because it's like a hot potato, you know? It puts you at risk because something could happen to that exchange. You never leave your assets on an exchange. We've heard of a few times where exchanges have gone down. They've been hacked. Um, so you're in and out on exchanges and you move your assets off. That's best practice. So Tangem is cool because it's like a card. So it fits easily in your billfold or whatever you wherever you hold your cards. Um, unlike other crypto cold storage wallets that are they look like a usb drive and i guess you can put like a little lanyard or like a little you know like keychain loop on it but that's a little bulky i think um so i'm going to be getting a tangent wallet i wish i had an affiliate link for you to use but i don't 
maybe next time or maybe I'll update this video and you can click below for my link but anyway I thought that was very cool because you can do it natively within Tangem's wallet which is very very awesome but all right that brings me to the end of this video I'm going to link a video this video your assets between different blockchains, layer two networks, and decentralized app. I'm not, not going to play it for you right now, but I will link it below because I found it to be a very good resource in explaining like what's going on technologically behind the scenes, like how do bridges work. So if you do care to know more in detail um, on how it works, then I will link this video below. And then I found this article very interesting as well on you know what it is like what is a crypto bridge because there are different types you know there are centralized bridges which would be like you know like part of buying like binance has a bridge you know or coinbase um there would be like there's many types but the main ones would be like a centralized bridge a decentralized bridge and then a hybrid bridge those are the main ones um there are other types too, but I don't find them too relevant for this video. And then I will share this very, very, very interesting article. But keep in mind that after doing my own research, I only found three of them to be the most useful because the other ones listed are very niche. Like they help you swap tokens between networks that I've never heard in my life. And I know most of them, almost all of them. So I found them to be too niche. Um, so the only two I covered with you, only three I covered um, from this article were Synapse, this one, Portal, and then Stargate at the very bottom. See, like there's, like what are these, like, I don't know, they're very, very niche. And then Stargate. Those are the only three I covered, but it does give a good breakdown of all its pros and cons. So, yeah, I hope you found this video useful. I know I didn't actually do a swap for you. But um, it's very easy. You just follow the steps. You just click connect wallet. And then um, that's it. But um, all right, guys. I hope you found this useful. Let me know if you want more details. And um, the next video I'm bringing you is on how to use Rabi Wallet. Because it's like the newest wallet out there right now that allows you to... Decentralized wallet that allows you to... Um, aggregate or combine all of your different wallets so you can see everything i'm also going to make a video on top tools that you should use or you can use um, which is very important because um, this bull run is going to get fast and furious and you need to even outside of the bull run like if you're watching this in the future <laughs> it's still important because you just need to know how to move your crypto tokens right but all right, guys, I love you very much, and I will be back with another educational video and with the news. I cover the news um, almost daily. I'm fixing to ramp up and cover it daily for you, um, hiring new team members, um, building out my process, and I'm um, actually going to be working on a course for you, like an A to Z six weeks course. Um, so let me know if that interests you. I'm working on all these things behind the scenes for you because I want to make your life as easy as possible in learning about crypto and how to make money in crypto because it can truly change your life. It changed my life. Um, and that's why I'm making this channel and this content for you. But all right. I love you. And I will see you in the next video. Ciao.